Which jersey do you want to wear, buddy? Bobby Russo one. Like many Canadian six-year-old, Syed Adam Ahmed is a hockey fan, a Habs fan to be exact. So when the Toronto area family got tickets to the NHL Winter Classic, Adam was excited. They're a great team and they won 24 Stanley Cups. The game was in Boston and that meant a frustratingly familiar problem at the airport. We've been having trouble uh, all the time, every time we traveled. I don't know why he has to be stigmatized for his name or religion or race. The little boy's name has raised red flags with airlines ever since he was born. The family gets pulled aside for lengthy security checks. This trip, they discovered Adams on what's called a DHP or deemed high profile list. We don't know anything. Uh, we've tried to get responses from Transport Canada, from, you know, public safety. That's the problem. They, they won't say if there is or isn't a list or if he is or isn't on it and how you can or get on or get off of it. One person did tell us to get an aeroplan number that might help alleviate his travel problems with Air Canada. But the family says it happens on every trip with different airlines. In a statement to CBC News, the Department of Public Safety said delays may occur for passengers who have the same name as a person listed under the PPP, Passenger Protect Program, or other security-related lists, such as the U.S. no-fly list. The statement goes on to say those passengers should try to resolve those issues before flying, but the family says it shouldn't have to do that. We have to go about proving our child's innocence, right? As opposed to the government or whoever is putting these lists together having to prove why somebody should be on a list. The public safety minister says he is now investigating. The family says it wants the problem solved quickly. Their concern? Security checks will only escalate as their son grows up. Natalie Collada, CBC News, Toronto.